our country is Portugal, and we will show you our school, our our city, our country, and some of the, our culture and traditions. If you don't hear anything, tell me, okay? Okay. So our school is like in Zin, and as you can see, is really big and it has a lot of cool places. Some of our places are the biology and geology museum, a bar, a piscine, a recess, and we have also two swimming pools. This is our school in Minecraft Education Edition. <laughs> okay, I can share again my screen. Okay, let's go, Madalena.
Eu vou perguntar se alguém já visitou no final do episódio. Então, nosso little house usually calls It has an area of 41 square kilometers. It is situated on the north of Portugal. Our traditional holiday is June 34, that's San Juan. And our city slogan is Antiga, muy nobre, sempre leal e vista. This is our symbol of Porto. So, that, uh, here we have. Uh, 76 meters. 76 meters. The Legos Stadium, that's a, a Portugal, a, a football club in our city, and it's called, there's a Porto, and this stadium is called Dragon Stadium. The Lion Square, the, the Cafe Majestic. Uh, here we have the Ribeira do Porto, that's really beautiful. The Lelo Bookshop, that's, and I don't, I don't know if you know, but Harry, Harry Potter, that was filmed in Lelo Bookshop, uh, the City Hall, and the Santa Catarina Street. You, you know the books and the movies of Harry Potter? Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, yeah, Jiggy Roll. J.K. Rowling, uh, Rowling lived in Portugal some, uh, some of years and uh, the first book of Harry Potter um, they, they write this book in Café Majestic and the inspiration of this book the stairs of Hogwarts School is the stairs of Lelo Bookshop, Bookshop and the, cloud, the clothes of the students um, in Hogwarts is similar to our students' clothes these are our students, and J.K. Rowling inspired this, the, 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 your story in these clothes and in these stairs, and another things they have in the in Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, we have some traditions, traditions <coughs> like Francesinha, that's a really good plate. Uh, when you have, it's like a sandwich. We have bread, meat. And then, if you like it, you can put an egg and cheese. cheese. And then, first, the sauce. And, yeah, and no it's, it's a sauce that's really good. And now, in that, we have, you, you have cheese. Uh, around. around. In our in our streets all the night um, with the traditional music and other things. So how is sports? Um, here in Portugal we play several sports. The most popular one is yes. football. The biggest teams of our league are PCB, Football Club do Porto, as I, as I said before. Uh, SLV, for Lisboa e Benfica, and SCP, Sporting Clube de Portugal. 
Input de most known things are Facebook, Google Vista and also Sagres. Here we have the, the logos of Facebook, Sagres e Boa Vista. <coughs> Uh, so, Portugal is located on the Iberic Peninsula uh, in Europe. Uh, our our flag. flag it's uh, it's red, uh, green, and it has a brown with yellow. The red uh, the red represents the blood. Ah, yeah, here's our flag. Ines are presented the flag. And, and Carolina, Inês and Carolina uh, has red, the flag. As you can see, it represents the blood of our, of our, of our soldiers in the wars. The green represents the hope, and the crown, it's, it has a lot of elements, but it has the five crowns here, that all say the, um, <laughs> the, the, the conquest. Represent Christianism. Exactly. Represent Christianism. I don't think I have to explain it more. Uh, Next. Our, our habitats are usually called Portugueses. It has an area of uh, nine, uh, 9100 and 91,000. The shop, 91,000 square kilometers. And 10 million. We have 10 million inhabitants. It's situated on the southwest of Europe. Our capital is Lisbon. Governed constitutional republic. Our coin is euro. And then our Portuguese national anthem. It's called a Portuguesa. And so we can sing in English. Or we can sing in English. Do you want to sing? Yes. And now we are going to sing. Ah, okay. That's nice. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Grande guiar a vitória As armas, as armas Sobre a terra e sobre o mar As armas, as armas É uma pátria lutar Contra os canhões marchar, marchar The Vasco da Gama Bridge in Lisbon 2, uh, the Douro White Bridge, that's important. Douro is a, it's a the principal uh, river. river in Porto, as you can see, it's really beautiful. And in Algarve, we have this amazing beach. I don't have to say anything, I think. Uh, uh, it's all, it's also, the Vila Moura Marine, that's in Algarve. Uh, in Algarve, too, we have uh, again the beaches. Uh, the Rapid Hill. It's. Serra da Rabia. It's a Rapid Hill, it's here in the north. And a Lanteja, that's, um, that's long camps. With a lot of. Our islands are Azores and Malay. Uh, as you can see, it's. Uh, they are islands and they are really beautiful. Uh, they have a lot of tourist, tourist, uh, tourist, tourists. Uh, the spots and, and you can visit it, it's really beautiful. And a source 
Ra để kem kem. So here we have. No. Okay, I will start like this. In Portugal, all speak Portuguese, and in the teacher lab, there we are in school to talk with the with the the, the people in outside of Portugal. And now we we would like that learn you. Uh, we like to share you some words in Portuguese. Uh, that, that's easy. That's easy. For us. For us, that's easy. But it's easy for you, Tamay. Yeah. Uh, for you. <laughs> and so, can you try it? Okay, let's, let's go say hello. Hello in Portuguese. We say hola. You can say. <laughs> hola. 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 Okay. Uh, no. Very good. Uh, and uh, more, more, more. Uh, okay. children say, say it. Say hello. Hola. Say hello. Hola. 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 Very good. Sahad, very good, very good. Okay. Uh, we usually say hola and then como estás? This hello and that's hello and how are you? So, you guys can say, Olá, como estás? Como estás? Como estás? Ok, ok. Ok. Very good, very good. Olá, como estás? Olá, como estás? That's good. <laughs> very good, very good. Almost a name in Portuguese. And now? And now, uh, we say, Obrigado when we wanted to thank you someone. Obrigado is thank you. Obrigado. 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 Okay, very good, very good. And now, and now, and now, when you, and now when we have a conversation, when we are going to end this conversation, we say goodbye. That's adeus. Adeus. Goodbye. Adeus. 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 Adeus is Espanol. It's in Spanish. Adeus. In Portuguese, we have Spanish language in in our twin country. And in the Portugal we say adios. Okay, can you try again? Adios. Adios. Good, 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 good. Very good. And uh, now when you say, hey, how are you? Hey, we say, Viva! <laughs> Viva. 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 Good, good, good. The Viva also means alive. The last word, soldad, is the word we we have only in Portugal that doesn't have a translation, a uh, great translation, but approximately is I miss you. But soldad is a Portuguese word and this um, a word linked to fado, most linked to fado. And now we say adeus and obrigado. Obrigado. Okay. Obrigado. Uh, you went. You went. Uh, all, all, all. Have you visited oh. Portugal? Uh, yeah. Some, some of you visited Portugal, or you don't know Portugal in Porto. We have not. No. Mm -hmm. No. We know. We know the. We know the footballers, but. Maybe the next time, and uh, when we don't have this pandemic situation, you can visit our country, our city, and our school. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I I think uh, I wait. We we'll, we we'll like our presentation, and now we can say something, and now something about you and about your country. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. I'm sorry. Your presentation was really good. Your presentation was very good, and uh, your children did really well presenting this. So, yeah.
So now, uh, I think we have got two presentations to go. So, hello. We are from your team and our school is called Gateway College. To start off, does anyone want to guess where we're from? What country we come from? We have, uh, yeah. Uh, can we say? Sorry? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. We have a few things we'd like you to know about our country. So to start off. It's an so our country was actually the first to elect a female prime minister. So our country is the first country to have a female pres uh, prime minister. Uh, and it was in 1960. Uh, Sri Mahmud uh, Bandaranaika, the leader of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, won the victory in the general election and became the first woman prime minister in the world. She served the country for three terms uh, before she resigned in August 2000 because of uh, failing health at the age of 84. Sri Mahavu Bandaranaika died of a heart attack in the same year after her vote in the uh, parliamentary elections. Moving on. So the oldest living tree to be planted by man is actually situated in our country. So our country is often mistook for having cricket as a national sport because we play it often, we play it a lot. But our national sport is actually volleyball. Yeah, so volleyball is our national sport. Even though we are lovers of cricket, Volleyball is an uh, official national sport and it's, so it was first introduced to our country in 1916 and then it was in 1951 that the Volleyball Federation was established and finally in 1991 uh, it was declared our national sport. So our country's most sacred mountain is called the Adams Peak. And it plays a different role in various in ver in most of our major religions. In Buddhism, it's believed that it was a footprint left by the Lord Buddha, and in Hinduism, it's believed that it's a footprint left by the by the god Shiva. Whereas in Christianity, it's believed that it's a footprint of Adam as he was banished from the Garden of Eden. So Sri Lanka is also one of the world's biggest tea producers. I'm not sure if you guys had Sri Lankan tea before. But I'm sure if you are, if you are a tea drinker, and if you are, you are. The Ceylon tea that you all drink is from Sri Lanka, and uh, it was Sri Lanka was formerly known as Ceylon, and that's how the tea got its name. The first tea plant on the island was displayed in this garden called the Royal Botanical Garden, outside Kandy, which is a city in Sri Lanka and has now grown into a huge business. This teardrop island nation is still a leading tea producer and exporter, with over 1 million of its 22 million people working for the tea industry. I hope you guys have had tea and if you hadn't, please try it. We have tea. Yeah. We have tea. Yes. Oh, we have tea. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, good. we have tea. Sri Lankan tea? Yeah. Have you guys tried it? You guys so, Sri Lanka is nicknamed the Pearl of the Indian Ocean as well as the Teardrop of India. We get the name the Pearl of the Indian Ocean because of our incredible natural beauty and our extraordinary biodiversity we have here in Sri Lanka as well as our precious gemstones. Uh, we get the name Teardrop of India as on the map, if you look at us, we look like a shape of a teardrop so and we're off the coast of India so that's why they call us the teardrop of India. So countries to have multiple names including Ceylon and Serendip under the rule of different different countries they used to call us different names and different abbreviations of the same name such as Serendip. In different languages it used to be changed up 
according to their own nationality or their own country. <laughs> we actually thought that uh, y'all would be guessing our country and uh, we would be guessing your country. So that, that's why we prepared this way. Yeah, so we have a, a little more on our culture and some more certain things about our country. If you can see, we are the red, um, the highlighted one and we look like a teardrop. So that's how we get our name, the Teardrop of India. This is our most sacred temple and it's actually one of uh, our most visited sites and an important site. So a sacred tooth relic of the Lord Buddha, which was bought from India in the 4th century, is actually still preserved here. That's what makes it really special. Um, the temple is known as the Temple of the Tooth, or in Sinhala we call it the Sri Dalada Maligava. Um, for this temple, they celebrate the festival of the tooth, which is known as the Esala Parihara, and it's one of their greatest festivals celebrated in Sri Lanka. So, Sri Lanka has a lot of animals. As you can see, we have elephants, uh, we have uh, uh, peacocks, we have lions, and we have a lot of uh, animals. So, Sri Lanka only covers uh, an area of 25,332 uh, square miles, which is slightly larger than the U.S. state of, state of uh, West Virginia. Uh, um, so we have 123 species of mammals, 227 species of birds, 178 species of reptiles, 122 species of amphibians, and uh, a lot of other animal species. South Asia, Sri Lanka has the highest literacy rate. Sri Lanka attaches great importance to education and makes it a fundamental right in its constitution. The country is said to have a literacy rate of 92%, making it the highest in South Asia, as well as one of the highest in Asia. So Sri Lanka is the home of cinema. So, apart from being a major tea producer, Sri Lanka is also famous for cinema, which is it actually plays a really important part when it comes to Sri Lankan food. And we were given this Sri Lankan, uh, sorry, we were given this cinnamon by the Egyptians around 2000 BC. And Sri Lanka has been one of and still is one of the leading exporters to cinnamon. And so this is our flag and the flag of Sri Lanka is also known as the lion flag. It is considered one of the world's oldest uh, flag dating back to 162 BC. It is thought to be the only flag in the world to recognize different religious beliefs, with the bow leaves representing Buddhism, orange for Hinduism, and green for Islam. These are a few of the national uh, symbols of Sri Lanka. So here on the top left you can see the jungle fowl, the national bird of Sri Lanka. It's also called the Wali Kukula. And the, on the top right, you can see the nar tree, which is the ironwood tree. The left bottom, you can see the national flower of Sri Lanka, which is the blue water lily, which looks gorgeous. And then on the bottom right, you can see the national stone of Sri Lanka, which is the blue sapphire. Come to Sri Lanka food. So, it's safe to say that Sri Lanka has a very unique cuisine. But since we originated from farmers and up to date, we still have a large farm community, uh, most, our staple food is rice and most of the time we eat rice and curry but we also eat things like spring hoppers or, or roti like as the teachers have uh, are there and uh, so uh, significant is that we use a lot of spices, Sri spices and coconut milk plays a really uh, major part when it comes to most of our curry and an interesting thing is that our curries, the flavors, they actually taste from the, the, the taste different from the from the region where you are going to have it. Like if you eat it from the north, it might taste a lot different from what you would expect it to taste from the south. And um, during um, special occasions, like one of our more key festivals, the New Year, we make things such as milk rice and wheat such as. This is our culture. 
Um, as, as you can see in the picture, you can see some of our traditional clothing, which is the sari and the sarong. The sarong is mostly for men, and uh, the sari, of course, is for women. Um, and we have the Lord Buddha statue, which is one of our, um, which is one of our important religions here in Sri Lanka. And the water lily, which is also a national symbol. And we have tea, and you can see other desserts there. We have. Um, the elephant as well, which is also one of the most popular animals here and people love sightseeing them in our national parks. So what can you guys see in this picture? This is a picture that summarizes our culture. So whatever you see in this picture is from our culture. So you can guess and see what you can see in this picture. Can you tell us some of the things you see? What you see in this image? The elephant. The the religion, the temple, the 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 Coconut tree. Yeah. Coconut tree. Have, uh, have any of you all been to Sri Lanka? Have any of you all come? No. We have uh, very nice beaches. Uh, we have fun activities. That we can uh, in the we go. We have jet skiing. Uh, we can. There's hunting. There's a lot to do in. Uh, you should come sometime after the pandemic. With that, we like to say I won and thank you for watching our presentation. We have some great hands to the great big college. I will, thank you. Hi, Tiago. I have one more thing to do. Okay. One more thing. Uh, no. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know? Antonio, Antonio, say yes. Oh yeah, that's good. So, so what, what, uh, city what do you know? You can hear, Antonio. Yes, yes, we can yeah, hear. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Before the Portuguese Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna talk. We're gonna show you something about that. Okay. Okay. A story for everyone, almost like a storybook, and we've made it on uh, Microsoft's way. Everyone can see the screen? Yeah? Can you all see the screen? Yeah? Yes, I can see. We can see. Okay. okay. Lovely. Um, so, like you all correctly stated, Sri Lanka and Portugal do have a history. Sri Lanka was colonized by the Portuguese, um, and therefore we're connected by history. So if you see in this da in this little picture that we have for you, uh, the Portuguese had um, had captured Sri Lanka from 1505 to 1658, um, and as you can see, the blue part is uh, where the Portuguese were the part of Sri Lanka which the Portuguese had captured. It's mostly our coast, so clearly everybody still loves our coast and loved it even back then. Um, like our students previously, we were beautiful beaches and a lot of our coast was captured by the Portuguese. Um, the Portuguese, when the Portuguese did take over Sri Lanka, they did mark the end of the medieval era of Sri Lanka, which was mainly influenced by India, which is trying to, uh, which is trying to spread the word of Buddhism um, at that time. Um, in 1619, they conquered the entire island except the Kandyan Kingdom. Uh, the central part of Sri Lanka that the Portuguese failed to take uh, to capture was the was the Candy Kingdom. Um, the rule, uh, they continued to rule our coastal areas of the country until they were ousted by the Dutch in 16. Um, as you can see, we are going to talk to you a little bit about these Portuguese explorers. And feel free to tell us if you know about them. Um, this is the route that they had taken in order to travel from Portugal to Sri Lanka and then back from Sri Lanka to Portugal. Um, he actually discovered the route. Uh, can anyone tell me how I can pronounce this name? 
correctly? Is it Vasco or Gamma? Vasco. Okay, right. Okay, right. So he actually discovered the ocean road to from Europe to India. He developed. Uh, he helped the Portuguese begin training with the East, one of one country, Sri Lanka. And the aim of the Portugal in the uh, in integrated is to capture a majority share of the spice trade for the European market. Um, this is how can I how do I pronounce this? Can somebody tell me? Okay. Okay. Transition Okay, that's that's lovely. You write it wrong. Okay. He actually wanted to go to India and he set out from Portugal to reach India but because of a ski storm he actually by mistake he ended up in Sri Lanka as you know Sri Lanka and India are neighbors and he distinguished himself in the Indian Ocean and made the Ceylon Tribunary uh, to Portugal and this is a final Portuguese explorer please do help me with the pronunciation again Lopes Okay, he captured Ceylon for the King of Portugal and he actually entered Colombo which is currently the commercial capital of Sri Lanka with a massively large fleet in order to take over what was then known as Ceylon. Uh, he ordered the construction of a small fort uh, which we now know as Santa Barbara. Um, now we're going to talk a little bit about the Portuguese influence in Sri Lanka. They were actually the first Western power to have colonized Sri Lanka and they had introduced Roman Catholicism in Sri Lanka. This was in contrast to Buddhism which was being promoted by India during the medieval era. Um, so till date we have some Portuguese influences in our country. Some of these include the Jaffna Fort, the Gaul Fort, um, the fort in uh, Trincomalee, uh, which is very well known for uh, marine biodiversity, and there is a church in Manar. If you ask any of our students at Gateway College, they tell you that at least one class trip is made mandatory for us to go and see this golf fort. It's one of our favorite places to go. It was constructed by the Portuguese, and then after the war, when the British did take over, they did um, even work on it a little bit, so they helped. Um, bring it back up to the city, uh, up in the place where it was, in the in how it was. Cuisine. Um, so it is actually the Portuguese who introduced bread and wine to Sri Lanka. Um, when, when Sri Lankan people saw the Portuguese drink bread, uh, drink wine and eat bread, they actually thought the Portuguese were eating hard rock and drinking blood because we didn't know what this stuff was. Um, and so we just assumed that they were drinking blood and uh, bread, but in reality it was just uh, it was just wine and bread. Um, you also the Portuguese also bought tomatoes into the country, and it's ironic that we are known for having spicy food because real chilies was actually introduced to Sri Lanka by the Portuguese, and it wasn't uh, used in our um, in our food until it was introduced to us for the Portuguese. And as you may know now, Sri Lanka and a lot of Southeast Asian countries are known for having really spicy food. Um, so now we're going to talk about music, dance, and handicrafts. So we we have forms, uh, we have Portuguese forms of music, dance, and handicrafts in the, in our country even now. Um, so you, uh, and they these are actually the Portuguese who came down with their slaves, the Kafirs in Sri Lanka. This is the sort of music they played. These are the instruments that they use. This is the traditional dance. Um, and this is an image of them celebrating and having their own music. Um, and this is a dance. Baila, uh, this is a type of handicraft that the Portuguese introduced in Sri Lanka. One culture which is still alive here in a lot of parts of Sri Lanka. On the When you move out of Colombo and the main capital, you'll see a lot of ladies down the road working on handcraft on handicrafts they sell not only to tourists but even to domestic customers baila which is a big part of sri lankan music culture and is played at almost every party um, is something that the portuguese get, that the portuguese left for us and i think everybody in sri lanka would agree that baila just gets everybody up on their feet and everybody excited um, 
to dance and have a good time. Um, and now let's talk a little bit about Portuguese language. So similar to how we pronounce a few Portuguese words, the Portuguese vocabulary has left some sort of imprint um, in Sinhala, which is a language that we, which is the la common language that's spoken here. Can anyone tell me if they recognize these words? So we have Almaria, which is actually a Portuguese word and means wardrobe. We have Anasi, which is pineapple. We have Baldia, which is bucket. We have Bankua, which is bench. We have Bonica, which is doll. We have Gotama, which is button. We have Gova, which is cabbage. Kalisama, which is trouser. Kusia, which is the kitchen. Mesaya is a table. Rosa is the color pink. Saban is uh, soap. Vidurua is glass. Sapatua is shoes and pan is bread. Did any one of you all, did anyone know what these, uh, did anyone recognize these words to me? Those that you all may have heard or used at some point? No one recognizes these words? Yeah. Yeah. It's very similar in my students' uh, tell. Okay. Yeah, so it's super similar. It's very similar in Portuguese okay. and your, your language. Okay. I just assume that the pronunciation is different, but the words are the same. So it's really nice to see the two countries which are separated by countries, borders and borders still have something in common. Um, also, now you all may notice something, a lot of Sri Lankan surnames are slightly modified from Portuguese surnames. And a lot of the uh, a lot of students here who are on this call would be able to tell you that we all have a lot of friends who tend to have these last names, which we believe are from Portuguese surnames. So we have a lot of friends who have the last names Fernando. We have a lot of Mendes. Uh, we have a lot of students even at school whose last name is Pereira or Pires. Um, we have friends whose last name is Demel, De Serum, De Silva. These are really common Sinhalese, um, Catholic, um, Sri Lankan last names, which we believe have been modified from Portuguese surnames. Um, thank you so much for listening to us. We genuinely believe that it's a very wholesome experience for us to share something with you all. Um, so thank you so much for listening to us and we hope yeah. you learned something. Thank you. It's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing um, lesson of history of our country and your country lesson thank you thank you so much okay. now we have one more thing uh, to to construct to build together a world wall with the opinion of this meeting okay i can share with you I don't know you, you know Mintinter. And you can write three, three words to describe this amazing experience. And you can see in the screen the words appear in our world wall. Nice. Olha, metam coisas. Oh, mal, tá. Deixem de ser palhacinhos e metam coisas direito. How many students have here nas rats? How many? Uh, there are, I think, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine are here. There are nine. Okay, we have, we have 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I think 
all the people right and 27 with me i also wrote i also wrote okay. i think the 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 words we have they have they have more votes it's amazing interesting educational and i fun my my students go talk about Cristiano Ronaldo and the right CSS. <laughs> and we have another another good words to describe this experience. I share with you um Nazareth, our presentation and this uh, word cloud. Okay? I don't know if you if you have any questions to our students, so your students have uh, some questions to our students and my students to your students. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like to see your students one more time. Yeah. You can see now. You can see now. No, can't see. Do you see? You can Oh, right. Yeah. Hi. 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 <laughs> so, what age group are you? Are these kids? Uh, fourteen and thirteen. How old are we? How old are we? Eighteen and sixteen. No, no, we are fifteen, sixteen. Eighteen. Um, uh, Shaheen is uh, I don't know seventeen. Shaheen must be seventeen. Yeah. Here we have 14. It's in the in the hate for 14. 14. 14. Okay, 14. Uh, Carolina. Uh, He's turning 14 tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So who who played the violin? Yes. Parece bonito que este. Oh. <laughs> ok. Yes, tem, mais, tem alguma pergunta queiram fazer? Não? Yes, Diz ou não? Mais tarde, Bernardo. Let's talk about our rivalry, yeah, rivalidad, rivalidad in the football, because the, the the biggest clubs in Portugal is Porto, FC Porto, uh, Sporting, and Benfica. And in this in this room, we have students of Porto, we have students of Sporting, like Bernardo is the is the only sport the the the, the sporting. No, 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 no support of sporting and we have uh, two people and then unfortunately is Benfica. Benfica and Porto is a bigger bigger rival and we don't like Benfica and Benfica don't like Porto. <laughs> and they tell about this. Alguma questão assim alguma coisa mais? Did you, did you, do you know uh, football club of Porto? If you know the football club of Porto. No. Of course no. Of course no. I'm the second. But that's the football is not the, the bigger sport in uh, City Lanka, it's volleyball, correct? Okay. My student Claire Mask but the, the if you if you play basketball and not uh, volleyball. Yeah. You have basketball. Same. Okay. Do you have tennis? Okay. Okay. We do play, we play football, we play basketball, we, we play those sports too. Okay. It's it's po it's popular. We we know those sports, we play those sports. Very good. I think, uh, Nusrat, uh, in the future we can work together with our students in other projects 
Uh, because I think it's uh, this amazing connection. We can we can share uh, most uh, much of things and different things in our countries. Yes. Um, I think at the moment we can finish this meeting. Yes. Uh, if you have uh, any questions and work and other things. I don't know what time is in Sri Lanka now. It's sleeping time now. <laughs> it's yeah. three o'clock. <laughs> it's afternoon nap time now. Okay, here is the morning yet, and they have a, a school day, a, com a complex school day, because oh. they, have the, they have classes all the day at uh, yes. six o'clock. Uh, at the moment, are ten o'clock, approximately. Oh, okay. 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 Miguel, last question. Question. What if Sri you can... Lanka is the capital? How do you say it? No, okay. no, no. What is the capital, capital of Sri Lanka? And the name of the capital. Our capital is Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Java, Jennifer, Kosovo, but our commercial capital is Colombo. So if you decide to Google our capital, you will probably get the answer Colombo. So I hope we, uh, that you all will come and visit us. Yeah, I think it's very good, but this pandemic situation is very bad. Yeah, yeah, we can't do anything. Okay, Nazra, thank you so much for this time. It's an amazing experience. I can share with you the, the presentation and the word cloud. Okay. 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 And uh, we go we go share our meeting in the in our uh, social um, social media. Social media. Yeah, in Facebook and Instagram you can share uh, of our school lessons in the Facebook or Instagram. And uh, we can share the, the, our presentation, our meeting, okay? Okay. Thank you okay. so much, Tiago, for, for accepting you. for accepting my uh, invitation. Um, I was so happy that uh, uh, we could actually do this because this is, I think, my, my first time. And it was great. It was great and I, I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye. Adios. 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 I will finish now this meeting, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. bye.